Hey there, Maureen Chiana here, founder of the Mindsight Academy, neuro coach to executives, leaders, entrepreneurs, and a neuro leadership trainer using insights from neuroscience to help you deliver results by learning to work smarter, be in control of your brain, manage yours and other people's emotions, change behaviors, flourish, and exceed expectations. Welcome back to another episode of Lead to Excel podcast. I am so excited about our podcast today because today we're going to be looking at the four mindsets that you need for leadership and personal success. My focus is always on leadership, but you need to always remember that leadership is not just when you're leading people, it's also being able to self-lead, so being able to lead yourself. So a mindset that you use to lead others is the same mindset you will use in your personal life to lead your own life to have a fulfilled life as well. So without wasting any more time, let's get in. So as usual, grab your cup of coffee, drink, milkshake, shake, whatever that might be, put your feet up and listen in. So yes, the four mindsets that you need for leadership and personal success. We know that many people today are struggling to adapt to the current changes, but in order to make your future bigger than your past, you first have to want and believe that it's possible to be able to have this bigger future. No matter what stage you're at in life or what your circumstances are, you have the potential to have a better life than you have now. Leaders are concerned about the impact on productivity as a result of the pandemic, as many people's lives have been disrupted quite significantly in the recent months. The fact is that the world has changed and it will continue to evolve. We are not going back to the way things were before. So how are you adapting your thoughts and actions to ensure that you make your future bigger and be a high performing leader? I've heard so many people say, oh, we need to get back to where we were before. For goodness sake, who goes backwards? We learn from these past months and we have to move forward. We've got to learn from experiences and press on. We're not going back. I don't know what you think about this, but are you ready to go back? Because I'm not. And the fact is that the world has moved on, so there isn't any going back. Having a high performance mindset is crucial for every leader, every manager, every executive, and every business owner. You need it to be able to achieve high performance, high productivity and high profitability and also to be able to live a successful life as well. You need a high performance mindset which comprises of four crucial mindsets all of which are underpinned and driven by the leaders or managers understanding of what does and does not motivate people and human behavior. So in this podcast today, I'm going to focus on the mindset of a leader as you lead people. But as usual, I want you to also think about how you can use these skills in your personal life because it's the same brain. The same brain that you take to work that you use to lead people is the same brain that you're using for your life in the relationships you have in your personal life as well. How people think and feel determines how they go about their work and how they live their life, which in turn helps shape their mindset. It's the mindset that you have that triggers your behavior and actions. And it's these behaviors and actions that generate your results or the results that you get, whether good or bad, average or exceptional. The difference between who you are and who you want to be stems from your mindset. Once you start to change your mindset, you will immediately start to change your behavior. Now, more than ever before, the workforce needs to be adaptive and needs to be resilient. And to be able to achieve this, you need to have the right mindset. So you might be asking, what is a mindset? 
A mindset is a way of thinking that determines a person's behavior, outlook, and attitude. Mindset refers to how and what you believe about yourself and the world. Your mindset has the ability to enhance or destroy everything you do. Mindsets drive learning, collaboration, and innovation. This podcast will explore how mindsets help or hinder problem solving, the transmission of critical information between team members, and the creation of workplaces characterized by psychological safety and high ethical standards. We will also link mindsets to the culture of organizations which have consequences for employee engagement, satisfaction and turnover. My aim is that you will gain self-awareness about your leadership mindset and help you develop tools for cultivating the right mindset in yourself, in your team and in your organization. The single greatest tool you have for achieving your goals, creating personal success, living the life that you desire or changing your life is within you. This tool is the power of active thinking and developing the right mindset. It's making sure that your brain is in good health. It's making sure that you're using your brain optimally and smartly. Your job as a leader is to walk through your people, ensuring that they deliver the desired outcomes in a way that is satisfying for them and productive for the organization. So your role is to help them grow and discover their strengths and talents, which will require you to make tough choices and sometimes to take decisions very fast. Making decisions under pressure is usually driven by your instincts rather than rational or conscious thoughts. It's your beliefs and mindset that create those instincts and determine which way you go. So being able to understand how your brain works and be able to understand your mindset and know when you need to change it and manage your emotions is key to being able to work effectively under pressure, but also help your people do the same. This means that to achieve high performance, leaders, managers, executives must focus on influencing the thoughts and feelings of your team in order to enhance your performance. How your people think and feel will determine how they go about their work, and this is so important. It will determine how engaged they are and how committed they are to you, to the organization and to the goals of the organization and even to their own goals. So having the skills to understand and manage their mindsets from the onboarding stage is critical. And this is why I created the course on growth mindset culture transformation to help you develop the right organizational culture right from the start. So as you're onboarding new staff, you're starting right, getting them to embed the new culture into their own, into their own practice, into their own actions. If you don't do this at an early stage and try and bring it in later, that becomes a change management issue. And we know the limitations, the resistance, the problems that come with change, which can be achieved. But in order to avoid that, it's better to have that culture right, right from the start. And that starts with the mindset. So if you want to know more about the course, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Mindsets are generated over time to become your reality. And they're either conscious where a person chooses a particular mindset or unconscious, where your mindset develops passively and is influenced by beliefs, assumptions, perceptions in the subconscious brain from things like your experiences, upbringing, culture, and a lot more. And a lot of what you do is driven by the unconscious mindset because 90% of what we do as human beings is driven from our unconscious brain. And that's because if our conscious brain is doing more of the work, 
our brain will not be able to cope because it needs a lot of energy. Think about it. When you're learning a new skill, the amount of focus, attention that you've got to put in it, that is energy in draining for the brain. It's a lot of energy that the brain needs to learn new skills. And that's why once you've learned, it then goes into your memory, into your subconscious, and then the, the conscious brain is now free to learn new things again. It often takes cognitive strength to override thoughts, feelings, and emotions that act as a barrier to realizing goals. The high performance leader or manager has a way of thinking that means they consciously and purposefully choose behaviors and actions or activities to directly influence how people think and feel before they think about how their people perform and sustain that performance. The good news is that you can change your mindset if you're not already doing this. And that accounts for many people. So let's look at the four crucial mindsets. There are four critical mindsets for increasing performance and productivity. The emotional intelligence mindset, which helps trigger inspiration and trust within a team. The second is the connection mindset. Then the growth mindset, which is to trigger confidence, learning and growth within your team. And then the performance mindset, which helps to trigger focus, accountability, and achievement. Now, all this I've said is within your team, because like I said, my focus is on leaders leading teams, but you can adapt them to your personal life, which is so important because remember, you cannot lead people if you can't lead yourself. You've got to be able to lead yourself first before you can lead others. I have so much information to give you that I've had to split this podcast into two sections. So next week, we're going to start looking at the four critical mindsets. So I look forward to seeing you in our next episode. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast wherever you listen to it, if you haven't already done so, so that you don't miss an episode. And please remember to give a review so that other people can also find this podcast and enjoy the benefits as well because the fact is everybody needs to know how to rewire their brain everyone needs to be able to be in a position to be in control of their brains so that you can achieve the best performance in every aspect of your personal life and professional life so i would really appreciate your reviews to my podcast thank you once again and i'll see you next week where we deep dive into the four critical mindsets that you need to achieve high performance you really don't want to miss our next episode because it's going to be packed with so much information so much tips for you to start using immediately to really get the right mindset that you need to live your best life and achieve excellence in every aspect of your life. See you next week.